Sage One Accounts Extra Multiple User Functionality The objective of this e-learning is to understand how the multi-user functionality works in Sage One Accounts Extra. Sage One Accounts Extra opens up business accounts to multiple users, whilst at the same time controlling exactly what each user can see and do in the software. In Sage One Accounts Extra, you can add and invite multiple users at no extra charge. Having individual users with their own specific email logins and passwords means that people can be assigned to different specific roles based on their role in the company. Only the account owner, or in other words the system manager, is able to invite and manage users. There can be more than one system manager and these roles can be defined also. So let's have a look at how that actually works in the software. Sage One Accounts Extra contains a multi-user capability. So it's possible to add an unlimited number of users at no charge and their roles can be defined specifically for different users depending on what they'll be using the software for. So in this particular business I can see that I'm logged in as the owner of this company which means that I am the system manager by default. So I have the ability to add and edit users. So to do this I go to settings in the top right hand corner and because I have system manager rights I've got in my Sage One here I have user management settings. So I click on there and as you can see I've got a current list four pages long of existing users for this particular piece of software um, for this particular business so as you can also see I've given several of them system manager rights now this wouldn't normally be the case but in this instance this is being used to demo stage one accounts extra so these people need system manager rights so I will for example give this guy give Imran back his system manager rights so I'll just click on his details and as you can see here, he's currently not set as system manager, so all I need to do is tick the box and save it, and that will update his user permissions. So if I want to invite a new user, I simply click on invite user, I put in an email for them, I decide whether I also want them to be system manager or administrator, and here I can define their role in a blanket fashion. So for example, if I want this new user to have read-only access to everything, then I select read-only here. However, in this particular case, I'd like to customize their access. So I now go to advanced permissions. And as you can see, I have nine different areas. I've got sales, purchases, bank, products and services, contacts, reporting, journals, statutory reporting and settings. So in each of these specific areas I can define the role of my user. So for example I can give this particular person no access at all to the journals. Now this flags up a warning telling me that if I'm going to give this person access to management re reports they'll also need at least full or read-only access to all areas. So it's telling me that because I've given no access to journals, then I'm probably also going to have to limit the access to reporting as well. So I'll give them no access to reporting too. And perhaps restricted access to the bank. So as you can see, you can set up role-defined users in the software. <laughs>